This is a technical analysis update for the NASDAQ 100 e mini futures uh, late in the day on the 21st of December. There's two ways that people and algos can draw these channels. There's one and second touch point on the top band of the blue and three and four at the bottom. And you can also draw it with the A and B at the top of top of the channel uh, and C and D at the bottom. Uh, and even if it can be maybe a little bit more precise, it's close enough, okay? In any case, in both of these channels, we've got a reversal here, as it seems, okay? When you have this price action, we're now at the four-hour candles, and we're already 3.15% from this uh, um, point, then it validates that point. Now, we will also, uh, I want to put something else here. Where is it? I'll just put it again. I'm taking this, uh, the low here, the first touch point here. And this is a VWAP, anchored VWAP, where the purple line is the VWAP and others are standard deviations. Uh, the first standard deviation we saw also. So we have an area here of a triple support, both of the channels that were mentioned and also uh, one standard deviation from the VWAP, okay? I'm taking it from the pivot point of October 13th. Now, where can that help? I'm in long, as I mentioned also uh, in the previous video. Uh, my long was at 11,186, so almost 190 points. Um, and I did take partial profit, 50%, uh, as we went along. And... What I'm thinking is to take the half, the, re the, the second half at about between 11,000, uh, around 11,430. Now, um, and I'll, also I can spread a net uh, to take out those uh, contracts of the uh, micro uh, NASDAQ futures. So I have 20 in play. I took 10 out. I've got 10 more in. And I can spread them from 11,395 to uh, 11,430 to take uh, the rest of the 10 off. It might also pierce it a little bit as it tends to do. These, this is a key level that uh, some algos and professionals are going to watch. We also have other reasons for par partial profit takers to note this area. Even uh, this, the low here of about uh, 7th of December is at about 11,422. And uh, also we will be crossing up once, if and once we get there, we'll be crossing up the 11,400, which is another round number and another place to trap. Remember that the institutions selling the trades to the retailers like to trap on both sides once that price is dancing around a round number. So when a price crosses a round number up and uh, a lot of the retailers are thinking okay let's buy then uh, the professionals may consider to take partial profit and sell uh, so this was the uh, update for the nasdaq futures those that are in long can also consider that and by the way you can also start scaling in in that area even maybe a little bit above it if it crosses up uh, at around 11,450, if it gets there, you can start scaling in an intraday short term uh, uh, short. Uh, the reason that uh, it needs to be intraday is that uh, on a multi day, it can be a nice uh, a rebound, uh, taking us all the way to uh, 12,500, which I think. Will uh, we can have a good chance of getting there? And this area of the mid channel area at 11,760 is also still a, a nice area. We can be doing something like this, okay? Something like this, even going back all the way down and then up, okay? So, but we'll see, we'll see what happens. We'll follow the price action. This is the map I'm looking at and trade at your own risk.